Welcome to today's vlog. We're going to be going up towards the mountains of Akita to visit a dog friendly onsen, and later on, we'll be visiting an old school museum. Now that we are all reunited, we're gonna have lunch at That Sounds Good. It's actually called That Sounds Good, so. <laughs> Let's go! Excuse the very very rough start in this vlog today. We have reunited with my husband and our other dog Willow and first off we are famished so we are just gonna fuel ourselves before deciding what to do for the day. We were so hungry and we've all fueled, we're good, we have made a plan. We are going a little earlier than expected to our yokan and basically we centered this whole trip around this place and it is this most Studio Ghibli looking old onsen hotel you'll ever see. I'm super excited about this so we're gonna head over there and discover more of the mountain. We are driving from Tazawako towards Mount Akita Komagatake to our dokan, which is called Moriyama So. And the drive towards the dokan took about 30 minutes. It was a pretty smooth drive up the mountain, and here we are arriving to the top of the mountain into this dreamy, kind of Studio Ghibli like dokan. The first step is to check in and at the entrance you write your name, address and it was really nice because the dogs could just come in with me. We are here at a hotel, a very traditional onsen and they have like mixed onsens and outside in the Orotenburo which is like outside baths and we're gonna be having dinner on that little terrace corner thing apparently. It's super cute. And if you've seen the vlog from the previous day, you probably know that I am a little bit sleep deprived at this point, which is why I totally forgot to film the inside of our rooms. But this was the terrace of our little cabin we stayed at. And before grabbing dinner, we decided to take a stroll at the hiking course that was behind this yokan, which is the big hiking course of Akita Komagatake. Um, we had a toddler and some dogs, so we just took a little stroll around and it was really, really beautiful. We like went through the trail, came back and just saw Hashtag YOLO YOLO <laughs> Sorry we didn't know We love you, it's so good For dinner we had some lake fish and traditional Akita dishes such as this Kiritampo It was my first time having this and I really really enjoyed it And of course, before going to bed, we had to go to the onsen and recharge our tired bodies with a nice hot bath. This onsen had a mixed bath outside, so we got to try that before going to bed. Good morning from this foggy mountain. We woke up at 5 a.m. to go check out this little phenomenon we were told about 
and it is called Hana no Yu. And basically, the sulfur、um, kind of floats、uh, throughout the whole bath. And when you go in, you can break them apart. And it was really, really pretty and worth the morning wake up call. <laughs> After our relaxing morning bath, it was time to go wake up the gang. And my little boy Mugi loves to get morning scratchy. Good morning! This morning we took a very, very early 5 a.m. bath and it was so nice. So basically, the surface of the bath was kind of like white. They call it Hana no Yu, and I think it's the sulfur that's just floating out, so it was very, very beautiful. And <clears throat> now we're gonna go have some breakfast, and Mr. Ray Ray is up. <laughs> After breakfast, it was time to go check out the doggy bass that they had. Willow's green now. It's actually good for their paws because they were in the in the lake, like by the stones.、Mm -hmm. And so the sulfur like helps with their paws, I think.、Aww. So, this onsen is actually known for their pet baths, and a lot of people travel all the way for their dogs to be based here. The water goes through the first bath inside and then a second one outside and goes finally to the pet bath. So, the water is very、um, tempered for the dogs, and the sulfur is supposed to be really good for their fur and their paws. After our morning onsen, we drove back down towards Lake Tazako to visit this old school called Omoide no Katabunko. So, this museum was actually a school, and apparently, it was closed in 1974, then restored and reopened for everyone. And that's why it's kind of like a time capsule, everything、um, is from back in the day. And for me, as a vintage lover, this was so much fun to visit and to see how the schools were made and materials were preserved. Museum, and it's just super fun because it's so interactive. You can touch all the piano, all the books that are here, you can touch like. Everything. Basically, you can touch everything, and you, they also have like sports stuff for the gymnasium. So, if you want to play a little bit of tennis here, on the tennis table tennis and stuff, you can do it. So, definitely recommend this. As we were heading back to the station, we came across a signature Akita summer treat to try Baba Hera Aisu. And Baba, I guess, means the lady selling it, and Hera is for the spatula that makes these rose shapes. It was kind of a mix of shaved ice and ice cream.
to go back to Tokyo. It was an incredible two, three days for me. And yeah, um, this last day was pretty rainy. So moving around with two dogs and like this much people in the car got a little crazy, but we got to see some sights and it was so fun. Honestly, Akita nature was beyond my expectations and I was, I had so much fun. So I guess I'm gonna close this vlog here. Um, thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you guys in the next video soon. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.